What up YouTube? So today I got some fish coming in the mail today. Let's go ahead and see what Thank you, tube. Is it gonna go in this tank right here? Eh, nah. What about this one? Probably not. This one? Heck no. Nah. Uh-uh. No way. This one? Mm. Nah. Nope. Probably not. So that leaves these two tanks right here. Which one do you guys think it is? Probably this one. Nope. I'll be right back with you guys when I open up the box. Uh -oh. Let's see what we got in here. Heat pack still warm. Oh yeah. The fish are doing great. Nice. One eternity later. All right, guys, we're gonna be releasing these guys in. I've been in the tank for about 20 minutes acclimating. You don't judge my feet when you see them. It's early in the morning. They're real strong and bad, I'll tell you that.
here. Ah, oh, this one. Right on my face. I think that was the smallest one I just learned. Alright, so there's five new Starry Nights in here. As you can see, some of them are coloring up. Some are still a little silver, greenish looking, but no worries. In time, they'll color up. Already swimming around. Nobody's attacking each other yet. This guy's over here tucked off in the corner. Looks a little stressed, but I'm sure he'll come around. And that's who I ordered them from, Imperial Tropicals. That's actually where all the Starry Night from this tank are from. These bigger ones include that I've had. Great quality fish, that's why I decided to order them through them again. I'll probably come back later with the update once they're more settled in and see if they're eating. I'll catch you then. Alright guys, so it's been about 30 minutes. 
There hasn't been really too much aggression, but they're definitely kind of picking at them a little bit if they come up in their little vicinity. So, thinking I'm gonna go ahead and move those peacocks and haps in here for a little while, just kind of help with the aggression, add some more to this tank. It looks good, species only, which is the tent for this tank, but I figure for just right now, it wouldn't hurt to add them guys for a little bit, for a month or two. Let them grow out in here. And who knows, maybe if I like it, I might leave them all in here. Yeah, this guy's the one that's a jerk if anybody is. You don't want anybody in that corner, and that's for some reason that's where they keep all going to. A little update on this thing. All right, I'm also give you guys a quick little update on the other starry night that I was telling you guys got beat up a little bit. He's doing a lot better. I'm gonna show you guys footage of how he was about a week ago and then show you footage of how he is now. So this is the state that he's currently in. He's been eating, swimming normal. I've noticed the bump on his side has started to come down and things are starting to look up. As you can see, his lips are a little damaged still, which they were a lot worse than that, I'll tell you when it first happened. It's probably been a little over a week since the original incident happened. And I separated him over to this 40 gallon. Um, he, w he was upside down when I came home from work and seen him. And now he's looking really good though. From where he was to this is surprising, honestly. I'm grateful this guy didn't die. This is my original starry night. I've had him for close to two years. He's probably the size of a quarter, maybe, when I got him. And he's starting to eat again too. Let's see if I drop a couple pellets in there and see if he has any interest in there. Poured a little more than I should have. He's in here all alone. I got some stress stress coat and Melifix in here to help with him. But as you can see, the bump on the side has went down a lot. The hole in him is still there, but it's healing. I mean, just to see this fish in the state he is in now is honestly surprising. It's only been a week. He has a little bit more to go, probably a month at least before I put him back in the main tank with the others. But things are starting to look promising. Yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick little update on him. So this is how the Starry Nights are doing a day later. Still haven't got their color up yet, but give them a couple days. All the other fish are new in here as well. Not new to me, but new to this tank. If you watched another video, you see I just set this up. They were in that 90 gallon right there. But yeah, just want to give you guys a quick update. Tank is awesome. Alright guys, so I'm probably going to end out the video right here, but let me know down in the comments if you think I should add all these peacocks and haps to that uh, 125 with the Starry Nights. Kind of having a hard time deciding if I want to or not, but go ahead and let me know what you guys think down in the comments. These guys are probably going to be moved to the other Mbuna tank down there in the corner. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.